room, my room, I has it. Call out a name, or you gossiping, or you chatty pat. I'm gossiping. This is the rumor report. I mean, I guess we on the Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Yes. Right. On the Breakfast Club. Now, uh, Rich Dallas, of course, from Love and Hip Hop New York, his daughter Ashley Trowers got uh, arrested yesterday. Now, she was arrested for aggravated assault, uh, and now this is the reason why. Now, she told officers at her first day on the job, she uh, does security at Kroger's gas station. She said around midnight, her child's father and another man approached her in a Cadillac ATS. Now, she has a restraining order against them. She said she tried to flee, but they caught up with her. He said when they caught up with her, she'd fire two shots that hit the cata, that hit the Cadillac, not them, but hit the Cadillac. And then she called the police and told them that she had a restraining order and she got scared when she seen them. She said she was surprised that uh, he knew where she was working at. And that was the first day on the job. She said she saw she saw someone in the car reaching for a gun and she returned fire. I don't have a problem with it. What's her name? Ashley. Trowers. What's her name? Ashley Trowers. Is she in jail? Uh, I'm sure she got out by is now. Is she in jail? I'm sure she got out by now. Well, if she, well, if she is in jail. Free Ashley. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't. I, I'm with you. I don't. I didn't. There's nothing you said wrong in that story. I heard. I heard textbook self defense. I heard a woman that you know went to law enforcement had a restraining order against an individual. I heard said individual, uh, you know, not respecting the restraining order. I saw. I, I I hear a young woman that was scared and fearing for her life, and she used a firearm the way you're supposed to use a firearm. I don't see the problem. Right, and you know, I don't want to say it runs in the family. But uh, Ashley's mother, who was also on Love and Hip Hop, was arrested in 2018 for allegedly shooting her husband. She claimed self-defense, and uh, that case was dismissed. But yes, that's what you're supposed to do. Listen, if, I, you you, you I, did the right thing. You, you filed a restraining order. They came to your job. And yes, you got scared. You tried to flee. You tried to leave. They followed you. It looked like they were reaching for something, and you ain't want to find out what they was reaching for. I don't have a problem with it. I have four... I have four daughters. I've said it on this radio before. I'll say it again. Owning a firearm as a black person in this country is a form of self-care. You should teach everybody in your house how to shoot. Okay, if you have women in your household, you know, you should teach those women how to shoot. Let them go to the gun range and learn how to properly use their firearm because these people out here is crazy. Okay, and you ain't gonna always be there to hold it down for the queens in your life. So when they got firearms around them, they can hold themselves down. That is what two A is all about, right there. And not only that, right she, there, she followed, right there, she followed right the there. proper procedure. She filed a restraining order. Absolutely, she called the police. And after Absolutely. she did the shooting, she didn't have to call the police. She called the police and told Ooh. them exactly what happened. So she wasn't running. She Ooh. wasn't scared. She was protecting her life. There's no way that young lady should have been locked up. No way. In my the, the NRA, the NRA, Black Guns Matter, everybody, every single gun uh, rights group in this country should be coming to her defense. Absolutely. <laughs> like every single one. What is she, she, she got charges for us against her or something? Like what's the story? Like, Yeah, I'll tell you. She was uh, arrested for aggravated assaults and uh, she was uh, transported to the jail. Mm. Uh, and then uh, she was finally yeah. released on her own. So she was released. NRA, where y'all at? Mm-hmm. This is, this is where y'all at? Like like every single gun rights pro gun group in this country should be coming to her defense. Every single one. Now Amber Rose uh, was on the Sophia with an F podcast, and she was talking about her relationship and her life and what she wants. She says, "I don't want to share my life or my house with anyone. I don't want anyone around my kids. I don't want to have sex." She also said uh, she's okay with the idea of being a lesbian, but is also content with being by myself. She says, I'm very happy not to be in my bed with anyone. That was so confusing just now. What part? What audio. happened? You got audio? Oh, there's audio. Let's hear it. I wanna, I wanna you, Envy wanted to, wanted to say that himself. No, I feel that. Yeah. <laughs> it's scary. Yeah, it's, it's really, gross. it's really, really scary. Mm-hmm. So are you dating right now? No, not really. I don't want penis. I don't want and I don't want to share my house or my life with anyone. Yeah. I don't want anyone around my kids. I don't. Want to have sex? I, you don't? No. Yeah, she's fed up. She's uh, and you hear a lot of women saying that now. They're yeah. just fed up. When she, when she, what she said just now made sense. I don't know what the hell you were saying. I read exactly you what she to said. That DJ that um, you was talking to that DJ who tried you that you told us about yesterday. I definitely That's what you was talking. Oh my goodness, that's your rumor, Paul. Who you giving your donkey to, man? No, a lot of women do feel like that. That's why the uh, sale of sex toys is through the roof right now. But is that an who's that an indictment on? Is that an indictment on? I guess everybody, right? Because 
Well, I guess men more than more so than anyone, right? Yeah, I guess a lot of women are feeling like guys are, are still playing the field, playing around, Damn. and they want to they want to you know lock down. They want to get married. They want to have a family, and they feel like the, the men that they're finding are cheating on them or are doing some sucker ish. So you know they're they're content with being alone. And I think when people are uh, on their healing journey, man, you're looking for something more than you know physical things you know to make you feel good like you know you're really looking for things emotionally and mentally that can that can fill you in a real way yeah. you know and and when you um on, on your healing journey if you haven't properly healed yourself yet and you know you're still working on your your own self-love you probably don't want to be involved with nobody until you do that until you learn to properly love yourself you, you know you can't really truly love anyone else and pour into anyone else so you know maybe folks just need to focus on their own healing journeys there's nothing wrong with that yeah that's true and, and like my assistant said and also that you know men are too short and she doesn't want to look for a short man who said that <laughs> I know Mercedes big tall ass ain't say that. Yeah, she, she's, she in there now? No, she's not here now, man. Calm down, man. Oh. <laughs> what, you want playing basketball? Because <laughs> I stood up. Are you, you know I stood up and started doing crossovers <laughs> playing with me, Mercedes. I did. I, I'm, sta I'm literally standing up right now. Like, what's up? Like, I'm, re I'm ready to post up if she here. My Stop playing with me, Mercedes. Y'all going to miss y'all blessings. I told you you're blessing 5'7". Who you giving your little donkey ass to, man? Oh, man. Four after the hour. There is three Florida nursing schools that need to come to the front of the congregation. I told y'all I didn't want to think too hard this morning, but boy, this is a teachable moment. We'll talk about it for after the hour. All right, we'll get to that next. It's the Breakfast Club. Come on.